All right, we are continuing our daily Bible reading. We're in Luke chapter 10. Something uh, I've been thinking about due to some other uh, studies, and uh, you see this in uh, Luke chapter 10. Look at verse 13, Luke 10 and verse number 13. Jesus said, Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Beth Sadia! For if the miracles had been performed in Tyre and Sidon, which occurred in you, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. Uh, but it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon in the judgment than for you. I want you to notice in verse 15, And you, Capernaum, will not be exalted to heaven, will you? You will be brought down to Hades. It's interesting that Jesus had performed uh, many miracles in, in different places, uh, in particular Capernaum. In Luke chapter 7 and verse 1, the Bible says, When he had completed all his discourse and the hearing of the people, he went to Capernaum. And here in Luke chapter 7, uh, he's going to heal the uh, centurion slave. And yet, despite these miracles that Jesus did uh, in Capernaum, uh, many of them would not believe. Uh, many of them would, would still reject him. And it's a sad commentary that they had all this evidence, and yet they still would not uh, believe in the Messiah and, and follow him. And something good for us to think about, we have uh, these scriptures here, and we have to decide what are we going to do with them. Are we going to believe them and, uh, and follow the Savior? In Matthew's account, in Matthew 11 and verse 23, Jesus said, And you, Capernaum, will not be exalted to heaven, will you? You will descend to Hades. For if the miracles had occurred in Sodom, which occurred in you, it would have, been, it would have remained to this day. Nevertheless, I say to you that it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for you. And it's a sad thing to think about when you're compared against uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. But this was the mindset, unfortunately, of the people in Capernaum, uh, where Jesus spent so much of his time during his ministry, and yet they would reject his miracles. Let's be sure that we don't reject the words of Jesus. Let's be sure that we listen and follow and do uh, what he desires for us to do. Talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.